Hi, it's Carolyn here from Absolute Care Health Clinic. I just wanted to share with you today a little bit about the microscopic work that we do here to uh, show our before and after results, and this is for hair thinning and hair loss problems. It's quite unique in what we do, that we take microscopic images all over the scalp uh, at the beginning of any treatment and then generally four months after, because whatever we do at a cellular level, underneath the scalp is going to take four months to reach the surface of the scalp. So during that time, taking digital photos or looking in the mirror, you don't actually see what's happening. So it can be very disappointing for someone who's looking every day to see rebirth. So what we use is a more accurate form of documenting the progress of treatment and uh, seeing what the real results are. So we use a microscope. What I'm going to show you today is our scope comparison. So it is the end result of the microscopic sessions that we do and we put it together in a format which we have up here on the computer screen. Now what we're looking for here is our first image is always the start date. Okay? This image here is a microscopic image of one centimetre round on the scalp. And our second image here is the same location, however it is four months later, nearly four months to the day from the beginning of the program. Now we measure an exact pathway uh, so we can see down here I've got my pathway and I make sure that my pathway is a matching. So this is what we call the terminal area, meaning it's the back of the head and it's five centimetres up from the nape. We then go in and we measure our increments. So again, I know that I am probably within 0.5 of a centimetre from the same location. It's really important that you have the same location, otherwise it is not called a comparison. Some of the things we're looking for in the original screen here is what we found is our client had diffuse hair damage. So she had had diffuse hair loss. Uh, we know for a fact that she'd had a few children. So every time you have children, you get postpartum alopecia, which is a form of diffuse hair loss. Plus, we'd had some health problems. So we could see that some of the hairs, and you really probably need to come in close to have a look at this, some of the hairs weren't actually growing properly. They are so minute, they don't have any colour they don't have the structure and we probably have seven or more diffuse damaged hairs. They're not growing properly and they don't, uh, they just don't have structure. They will break easily and they don't generally correct themselves. So if we go over to our comparison image, now we've gone in and we've worked at the cellular function to correct the hair cycle. We can see the increased density of hair this is in the terminal area, which is the back area of the scalp. I can see that we definitely have more hairs, and the diameter of the hairs and the colours of the hairs has actually come back. What has come up is that we've got still some hairs that are not growing properly. We couldn't even see them in this screen because they were coming out of follicles that were not growing hair because the interruption was so bad. So we can definitely see we've had a result. Now we're just going to come back from the screen a little bit. And what we do is about 50 images in specific locations on the scalp. So what I've done is I've scrolled through to the next location. Again, you can see with me all of these hairs, they're not growing properly compared to what we have in our uh, second session four months later. So we'll just scroll through. And what we actually demonstrate from a scope comparison is that overall each image has an improvement. Now that's what we want to see. An improvement over that time means hair regrowth. Now this new hair will continue to grow away from the scalp, which is when you see the changes. So that may take up to six months before you know, you're actually feeling, wow, I've got more hair. And again, I hope you can see with me, there was a lot of scalp in that uh, picture, a lot of hair is not growing properly, and look at the density that we have now. So that's quite impressive. Now, Sorry this... to cut you off there, we actually ran out of film, so we'll just start again. What we were showing you here is uh, our dermis image. Dermis means we're looking beneath the surface of the scalp, so you can see it's quite opaque. Now what the dermis image shows up is some hairs that you can see here, they're really silvery little pieces. We can't even see them in the epidermal image. 
So they're hiding because they are so minute and so invisible. So if you can see with me, we've probably got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. A lot of hairs that are not growing properly. We go to our new image, which is after the treatment, and we can see that all of these hairs that weren't growing properly and did not have any pigmentation, the majority of them have now got a higher density, meaning the strand size is, is thicker and stronger, it's returning back to normal, and it, it actually can hold the hair pigment molecule because they're bigger. Now, I can see there's still hairs that need improvement, so we are going to continue to do some correction, but I think we'll all agree that that's actually a really, really good result. So we always check that we've got our diffuse damaged hairs on the epidermis, but we always do the dermal image because you will find more. Now, my accepted rate of diffuse damaged hairs per centimetre round is two hairs. So when we compared this client who had um, you know, seven plus diffuse damaged hairs plus seven um, what we call translucent hairs, our count is nearing 15 per centimetre round of hairs not growing properly. So that's a very high count. We can also see here the increased density that we have through there. And as you can see scrolling through each image there is an improvement. So this is a very, very, very good result. So I'm just going to scroll through, ah, uh, look at this one. We're actually looking at the scalp environment. If you can see there, it's quite scaly and it's building up around the hair follicle. So whilst we were actually correcting the hair cycle, we've also gone and corrected the scalp skin. And see how clean and open and smooth that skin is. So that's also a lovely, nice side effect. Here's another good image um, of the scalp skin and then how clear it is now. Okay, now we're changing locations. Uh, we're now moving into what we call the right side diagonal. So this is the side of the head. So what this shows is that the hairs are more spaced out apart. So therefore we actually have less damaged hairs, but it makes the scalp appear to be more bare. But we can see here in our comparison image, wow, we've got some really good growth coming through. Now I'm just going to really quickly go through these because I want to bring you up to the recession. Because what we find is a lot of people have a diffuse damage hair problem or diffuse hair loss that they're recovering from in addition to female pattern thinning. Now female pattern thinning gives us empty follicles and what we call vellus hairs on top of the already damaged hairs. So when you're treating, you can see these little vellus hairs, they're quite different to the diffuse damaged hairs. And that's caused by DHT, dehydrotestosterone. So we went in and we addressed the hair cycle at a cellular level, but we also addressed the DHT to start getting this kind of result in the recession. So we still have work to do, absolutely, but we've at least got things moving along. So we'll just scroll through. And we can see in just about every image, we've got that increase in actual hair density. Okay, oh, that's another good one. I could keep scrolling through, but seriously, there's about 50 images that we take, and this is for every single client. At the end, we look at the hair bulbs as well, so we can see at a cellular level what is happening to the hair bulb. We do nutritional therapy, and we can clearly see what's happened there. So I just wanted to share that with you, um, how important it is to use a microscope to see your results and uh, how exciting it is at the end of your program to actually see um, the result of your hard work. So I hope that information helps and uh, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. So it's Carolyn from Absolute Hair Health Clinic here in Brisbane. Thank you.